this video we're going to talk about the WP loaded action hook okay so I've opened codex and uh, you can see that it is defined by the do action hook and it is included in WP settings.php it says that this hook is fired once all WordPress uh, all plugins and themes are fully loaded and instantiated so in my previous video I've explained that this WP settings file which is under the root folder of uh, WordPress is the file mainly uh, responsible for initiating all the function including all the necessary file during the WordPress initialization so as you can see this hook is defined at the very bottom of this file and it's a very huge file and uh, after all the functions plugins and everything has been loaded uh, that's when it is uh, you know uh, defined so that any custom functions that are attached to WP loaded if we want uh, to perform any specific action after WordPress is completely loaded we will go ahead and attach our custom function to this hook and perform that action so this hook is fired once all WordPress all plugin and theme are fully loaded and instantiated okay so just a couple more information that Ajax request should use uh, admin ajax.php admin ajax.php can handle request for user not logged in so all this is saying is that if you want to define any functions uh, using Ajax then you can use the admin ajax.php because it can handle the request for the user not logged in you can see is user logged in and then else if is user is not logged in yeah cool <clears throat> so let's close this and let's take an example of this uh, WP loaded hook okay so we're going to take the example of the very first one minify HTML codes when page is output so what I'm doing over here is I'm going on to my functions.php of my theme and um, I'm doing an add action and I'm attaching my custom function my minify HTML to this hook WP loaded that we are speaking talking about and this function basically uh, is going to uh, you know go ahead and create a variable called HTML this is the first uh, HTML tag heading and then I'm going ahead and concatenating this with the following lines okay so by the end finally this HTML should contain all of this HTML content this variable and then what we need to do is we can go ahead and call this HTML complex uh, compress function which takes the HTML content and goes ahead and minify the HTML codes so it's going to go ahead and minify all of these codes so I've defined this uh, HTML compress uh, function over here and uh, I go ahead and return the HTML okay and then I'm using the ob start function um, for the output buffering uh, with the HTML compress as a callback okay so let's just shut this down so now if we go ahead and uh, refresh the, uh, go ahead and uh, refresh the page onto a front end we would be able to see that we've got our this is the heading which is the heading coming from here and then we have these two paragraphs that's been echoed okay we're echoing this what's returned the HTML content returned by this and we can see that it's been minified you can see it's all in one line here okay let's take another example So if you want to load any function only in the front end you can again use the WP loaded hook attach your custom function to it which is this I'm using the is admin function to check if user is not admin okay and then go ahead and echo this function is called in the front end and admin is not logged in and if you go back to our front end, we can see we've got this message 
function is called for front end and admin is not logged in. Okay, so we can go ahead and use that. All right. Um, let's check if we have any other examples. I think that's about it. All right. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment box. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.